Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a declutter today. I feel like this isn't going to be the most uh, cutthroat declutter, so don't, um, yeah, I'm just giving you a warning now because I don't really have too much that I need to get rid of, but there's just a few things out of my whole makeup collection, so this will probably end up being like a full makeup collection declutter. If I end up getting more rid of more than I expected, then I'll obviously break it into a few parts, but yeah, so first we're going to start with my eyeshadow palettes. Um, my collection is looking quite bare at the moment because I have all of my makeup that I've been using behind me and I'm ready to put it away. So I thought that it's time that I declutter before I put everything away so that I can make way for new stuff. Obviously I'm not going to get rid of anything that I've been using because obviously I'm using it, I'm liking it. So that's why I've decided to do it like this. Okay, so I think it's time for me to get rid of... Um, this BH Cosmetics palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Rio edition. It's just full of shimmers and it's beautiful. But the thing is, I just haven't reached for it in so long. And I have the just normal Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So I think it's time to get rid of that one. Starting on the top shelf. I don't think there's anything in here I'm going to get rid of. I have my Conspiracy palette. I've got my Blue Blood. I have my two. I've got my Androgyny, my Beauty Killer. An Urban Decay one and then all of my um, Huda Beauty ones as well as this one by Certify and I love all of these palettes so I'm not going to get rid of any of those. Coming down to the next drawer. Um, it's time to get rid of this Tarte one. This is the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves. It's a beautiful palette but it's just like it's a bit too gimmicky for me now. I feel like I just never reach for it. You can't even get any more. There's like three mattes in here and yeah it's beautiful. But I just need to be realistic. I haven't reached for this in so long. So. This next one makes me really sad. Because this is like one of my very first like high end palettes. My sister bought it for me for Christmas. It's the Totally Cute palette. And it's honestly the sweetest thing ever. But. Um, I just do not reach for this. And. Yeah. It's just. It's very. Um, like it's got a few little cute colours in it and stuff but yeah once again you can't get this anymore I don't reach for it and I feel like I would much rather see it um, go to someone who will actually use it so yeah but it is so cute and I am so grateful that she bought that for me and I feel horrible getting rid of it um, I don't think there's anything else in here that I really want to get rid of um, there's this one by Tarte just I love the packaging of it but I just don't know how much I use it. Oh god I don't know. I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe like in the maybe pile because I'm just so unsure of that right now. Like I love it but I also know that I don't use it very much. Um, I have all my Jacqueline Hill and Morphe palettes and I really wanna try and get a bit more use out of these because they're all very pretty. Um, and I like the formula. I think for now I'm going to keep them all. If I haven't played with them by the next declutter then... I mean, yeah, by the next time I declutter then I might get rid of them. Okay, and then onto the very last drawer which you can't see. Is that better? Okay. So, I'm getting rid of both of these um, Bretman Rock palettes. These are awful. These are the, I really like Colour Pop Shadows. I don't know what went wrong here, but this is the Lit Palette and this is the Wet Palette. They're both in collaboration with Bretman Rock, but I just really do not like these. And I usually really like Colour Pop um, Shadows and yeah, I just did not like them at all. So goodbye. Um, what's this one? Give it to me straight. I like that. I'm going to get rid of the My Little Pony one, which makes my heart break, but I just, you can't get this anymore. And I don't want to be one of those people that hoards, hoards makeup, so. I won't use it in tutorials and stuff because you can't get it anymore. And yeah, beautiful, but I'm going to have to say goodbye. Cute as I like that one. I think I'm going to get rid of the Golden State of Mind. This one's so pretty. It has heaps of different shimmers, but I will never ever reach for this palette over like just using a shimmer out of a palette I'm already using or like a pigment or something like that. So it's just like I literally have not used this for years. So I just I need to say goodbye. I think I want to keep that for now. I think the rest of the palette I want to keep. 
This is one by VH Cosmetics, which I'm throwing all about. Um, I've also got this one by VH Cosmetics, which I like. That one's quite cute. But I just, I like the colours and stuff, but I just don't use it. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile as well. Um, everything else in here, I'm going to keep. Okay, hopefully you can see okay here. Um, this is like my brow products and mascara and setting spray drawer. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this um, Paris Hilton Unicorn Mist. It smells so good, but I just don't use it. And this is something I bought like when I very first started makeup. Yeah, and I just, goodbye, it needs to go. I'm worried you guys aren't going to be able to see, but anyway. I'm going to get rid of this Astra Astralis Makeup finishing spray i put some um highlighter in here to make like a diy like glowy setting spray i think i just rolled it so i feel like i'm actually just gonna chuck that out because i feel like that's just ruined um i'm gonna keep this tight one i might put that on my makeup desk to use it up i like that tight one too i'm gonna get rid of the oxx makeup finishing spray never ever gonna reach for it again I think I'm going to get rid of the wet and wild one as well because I'll just never reach for that. I like to keep things like this in case I like want to do like a you know, full face of wet and wild. But I feel like this isn't really... I could still do a full face of wet and wild without this. So. I really like the Ofra makeup fixer. So that's staying. I like the MAC pink light. And I like my... Um, actually... Um, this isn't too bad, but you can't get any more. And I really don't like the smell. I might get rid of this one as well. The, the Too Faced one. But yeah, I'm going to keep the rest of those. And I have some more, obviously, in my, my pile. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this OXX mascara. Um... I'm going to get rid of the Physicians Formula Mascara. I'm going to get rid of the Wet n Wild Mascara. I'm going to keep my Tarte Light Skin Lashes. That's one of my favourites. I really like the Makeup Revolution one. The It Cosmetics one I haven't really played with too much. And I like my Benefit Roller Lash as well. So. Brow Pencils. I'm going to keep the Morphe one. I think I might get rid of the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. Just because... I'm never ever going to reach for this. I did use a brow pencil today and I used the BH Cosmetics one. And then if I didn't have my BH Cosmetics one, I'd use my Morphe one. So I just feel like I don't need this. Um, everything else in here I'm going to keep. I just have my Morphe eye primer, my Fenty eye primer. I have my Benefit Cabrera, which I like. I've got my Morphe paint pot, which I don't use too much anymore, but I still really like it. I have my Savannah Rose Cosmetics Brow Pomade, which I love. And then I've just got my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've got my Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. And I also have my Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So, oh, I like all those. Okay, we'll start with foundations. I have my two um, Urban Decay All Nighters, which are my absolute favourite. I will never get rid of those. Then I have my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, which I'll keep. I like my NARS one. Um, I like this Too Faced one and this one. I have my Tarte Shape Tape, which isn't my favourite, but... Oh, oh shit. Um, damn, I don't really know what I think it is. I know I used it, like, not long ago. Um, I might just keep that until I use it again. I can't remember what I think. And then I have my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation, which I think I do kind of enjoy. So I might just hang on to that for now. I have my Morphe Foundation, which I like. I've got my Wet n Wild one, which I haven't used in a while, but I think I like it. Move by Nature, I like that. Milani Conceal of the Fleck, I like that. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any foundations, to be honest. Um, I quite like them all, if I'm being 
honest. So I want to try this OXX one again. Um, oh shoot! And I just want to keep it um, because I think it did actually look quite nice. Concealers, I don't think there's any to really get rid of concealer wise. Um, I might get rid of my Wet n Wild one because I just don't really remember. It doesn't even look like a good concealer shade for me anyway. So I'm just going to get rid of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. Primers, okay. Um, this is hard. I'm going to get rid of the OXX one because I just won't reach for it. Um, I think I'm actually going to get rid of the steel one step correct. I got this in Brisbane but I just like haven't reached for it and it's like it's a good product so I'm going to get use out of that so. Oh god I don't know about this. I just paid so much money for it. Damn, I don't know if I should get rid of this or not. I think I might hold on to it for now. Because, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, I think that might be all I get rid of for primers for now. I told you I wasn't going to be very comfortable today. I'm sorry. Okay, next draw. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Makeup Forever... Um, what is it? The HD Ultra HD setting powder. I really, really liked this, but I'm just not going to use it because I just have other ones that I prefer. And also, it kind of scares me that it's white. It didn't seem to have any flashback, but I still just don't think I'm really going to get my use out of it. So I'm going to say goodbye to that one. I feel like I should get rid of one of my Makeup Revolution ones. Um, I might get rid of the bacon finish powder because I quite like this translucent one. So I'll do that. I have this um, RCMA powder. I never use it, but it's just, I feel like it's good to have in case. Oh, God, I don't know. Mm, I'm just thinking for like, it, like special effects makeup. No, I'm going to keep it for now, just in case. Then I have my Laura Mercier. Um, this is like the Mineral Illuminating Powder, which I don't make anymore, but that's so beautiful. And then I have the Morphe uh, Bacon Set Powder. Then I've got a couple of Too Faced ones, my Huda Beauty one, my Jeffree Star one. So I like all of those. I've got this May Maybelline Fit Me Powder I really like. I like the... Um, over Decay Lighter one. I'm gonna get rid of the OXX one because I'm just never I'm gonna reach for that again. Um, I like my Morphe powder, I like my BH powder, and I, I like these two powders as well. Oh, what's this? Do I want this? God, I don't know if I need this like a contoury colour but if I ever contour I'm going to use this one. What's this highlight? That's a pretty highlight. No it's, uh, it looks a bit too... Okay I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Double Beauty Beauty. I really like this palette but I just I don't use it enough so I love my Too Faced Natural Face, my Blushing in Barley and I also love my Tarte Pro Glow To Go so I'm keeping all of them. Next can we still see? I think we can. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this because I just am never going to use that. So this is the Bruntor. It's meant to be a bronzer and a contour, but in what world would that bronze and contour someone? Goodbye. Um, did I like this? I don't know. I don't ever really contour. So I might get rid of that. This is the Revolution Joy Face Sculpt, but I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. Oh my god, I have these two. I bought these for um, cream contouring, but I just, I don't really contour like ever. No, I haven't used them in so long, I just need to say goodbye. Um, I really like this Makeup Revolution one. I love my Too Faced one. I'm going to get rid of my 
OXX bronzer. And then I like my little Too Faced ones as well. So I'll keep those. Con I mean, blushes. I'm going to get rid of this Napoleon one because I just never ever reach for it. That's quite pretty. I'll keep that. That's also pretty. I'll keep that. I'm gonna get rid of that because I just, I really, I like the formula of this, but this just does not suit me in the slightest. Um, and I quite like this. I feel like I just want to feel. I'm gonna get rid of that. I just don't use it enough, honestly. This is another bronzer as well. This is the BH Cosmetics one, which I really like. I'm gonna keep these three um, highlighter palettes. I have the Soph X Revolution, I have the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow, and I also have the Ofra um, highlighting palette. So I'll keep those three. Onto my highlighter drawer. There's probably not a lot I'm gonna get rid of out of here. Um. I'll get rid of the this Milani thing. This is the candlelight face and eye strobe palette. It's really, really pretty, but it's just not something I reach for over my other highlights. So I'm just gonna say goodbye now. I'm also gonna get rid of the OXX highlighter. It's actually really nice, but it's just like I'm just not gonna reach for it um, over my other things. I think that's all I want to get rid of out of. Yeah. So I really quite like everything else. This is probably where my biggest declutter is going to occur in my lash drawer because uh, there's quite a few lashes I need to get rid of. And unfortunately they're all going to have to go in the bin because I don't know anyone that wants secondhand eyelashes. So, Okay, so I have all of my um, Unicorn Cosmetics ones which I absolutely love. These are my Tigress Beauty ones which these are very expensive. I think they're like 40 bucks a pair. Um, and I loved them for a while, but I just haven't used them in the longest time. And I just don't reach for them anymore. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of those, which make me really sad because they have the prettiest packaging. But yeah, I just, I don't use them anymore. So I've got the Styles Concord. That was the paper there. This one is... Hera. No, this is Empire. I don't know if you can see these, sorry. Um, I got these when I very first started makeup. I have a code with them and stuff, I don't know if it still works, but anyway. And then this last style is Hera. They're very pretty lashes, but yeah, I just do not use them anymore. Um, and yeah, it feels so, like, so weird, like, chopping them out because they're so expensive but the thing is like no one's gonna as I said no one's gonna be like oh yeah I'll have your second hand lashes like I feel like that's pretty rank so uh, I'm gonna get rid of these BH Cosmetics false eyelashes I just bought them for the, my full face of um, BH Cosmetics video uh, actually no I'm not going to throw them out yet because I want to film another one of those um, I think I'm going to get rid of my Holy Grail lashes. Um, do I want them? Actually, hang on a second. Hang on. I'm just going to throw out the ones that I 100% know that I want to get rid of first. I'm getting rid of all of my LA Splash lashes. Um, I used to, I, like, I was obsessed with these and I bought like every single pair they have. But they're just not the thing I'm into anymore. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of all of those, but they are really cheap and they're quite good quality. Um, and I did really like them, but yeah, I just don't use them anymore, so. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of these ones by Glam by Manicure. These are in the style Cara. I really like the look of the Harper ones. I just don't know if I'm going to use them anymore. I might just get rid of both of them to be honest. I really, I loved these for so long. But yeah, I just don't really reach for them anymore. So. 
Um, what are they? Oh. I have these OXX ones and they actually look really pretty, but I just don't know if I want to use them. It's so hard. Um, I might just keep them for now. I think. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to get rid of for now. So. I can probably, like. Start to slot some of my other ones in there. I have so many of them. Funny. I swear. Okay. Yeah, I need to. I'll organise them when I put my other lashes back in because I don't really know where I'm at at the moment. But yeah, okay. I think that's all I'm going to get rid of, lashes wise. I don't know about the whole grey ones. I just don't know how they look on the eye. But they look very pretty. So I might just keep them for now. I might try and use them. And if I haven't used them by the time I do my HD color, I'll get rid of them then. Okay, so this is like my glitters, my pigments, um, loose eyes, I mean, what do you call it? Um, single shadows and stuff like that. Um, so I just need to have a look. In here. Oh my God. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a W7 lash and line, but I just don't use it. I've got another one that I'll get rid of. I just use my Urban Decay heavy metal ones. Oh, I don't even remember this. If this was good or not, this is the LA Splash. It's like a double-ended double liner. That looks quite pretty actually, I might hold on to that. This one's in the shade Trickery and it comes with like a, a liner on one end and then like a glittery liner on the other. So I might hold on to that for now. These are all of my Quick Flick liners and I'm actually going to get rid of all of them because I just do not reach for these anymore. Um, I just found that they didn't really fit my eye shape very well. Um, that, like they worked well and stuff, but I just prefer the, like the, the, um, liner that I can do personally because it's a bit more customized to my eye, obviously. So, yeah. Okay, what else do we have in here? I think I'm going to get rid of these Morphe single eyeshadows. I have Minimosa Sunday. They're pressed pigments. Minimosa Sunday Powder Room and Richly Made Up. But I just don't reach for them. I've had them for so long. Hang on a second, why is this like? I've had them for so long. So I'm gonna get rid of those. What are these? I quite like the colour box. What have I done? I messed everything up. I like the Colourpop Super Shock Shadows, so I'm going to keep um, I'll keep these three Colourpop ones, now. but I'm going to get rid of the My Little Pony one because once again you can't get it anymore, it's such a cute shade but yeah, I'm going to get rid of this Polyan eyeshadow and I'm also going to get rid of this MAC shadow it's just a black but I'm just not going to reach for it if I want a black I'm just going to use it out of an eyeshadow palette so I'll move those all up I think I'm going to get rid of all of these these are just um, the, sh the brand W7 and they're just like baked eyeshadows but they're just not really my thing I just don't think I'm really ever going to reach for them, so. Um, but I think that's everything I'm getting rid of from this drawer. Oh, actually, I'm going to get rid of these two Colourpop Supernova shadows because they don't make these anymore. They're discontinued and they're just like, um, like liquid eyeshadows, but I just, I would much rather go for like a steel glitter and glow or something that you guys can actually purchase, so. Um. 
feel like I need to get rid of some of my eyeliners because I feel like some of them would be dried up. But hang on, my mum's calling me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm at your house. Do you want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've just got to go inside and see my mum, and then I'll be back to finish the video. So I've been gone for about an hour, so I don't remember where I left off because <laughs> I was talking to my mum. But I have all these eyeliners here. So I just need to. I've got some mini ones here, so I've got a. Oh, whoops! I've got a mini benefit one, which looks like. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out because that's obviously a bit old. And then I have this Steeler one, which I actually really like, so I might keep that. This is the Slay All Day one. It's just a mini. I'm sorry that nothing's focusing. It's just because it's so close. And then I've also got a mini of the kitten one, except this is a um like a crayon version. So I might declutter that one and I'll keep the stealer one. I've got this colour by Je um by ColourPop, which I really don't like. Um I don't think I can imagine myself reaching for it again, so I might get rid of that. Um and then I'll keep the Makeup Revolution one. Um, I'll keep the NYX one, steel one. I don't think I'm ever going to use these coloured ones, so I'll get rid of those because if I usually, usually if I use like a coloured liquid liner, I will use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics ones. I have this Wet n Wild. I think I'll get rid of that. That looks a bit too thick. Get rid of that. My next one is my all-time favourite. Have the Chi Chi one. I'll keep that as well. Um, then I have my Maybelline Master Precise. I actually really enjoyed that. But I'll get rid of it because I feel like it's quite old now. And then this Chi Chi one. I don't really reach for. So I might just keep um, the ones that I've got in there for now. Um, and then the last thing I have in here is this OXX Studio liner. I actually really like this. But I just don't know if I'm going to reach for it. I'm not really a pot, a pot liner kind of person. I might just get rid of it. Um, yeah, okay. Last, we have lips. So... Okay, I'm going to keep, oh this is stuff for a giveaway so don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to keep every single one of my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. So we'll just move on to the actual lip drawer. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of these Too Faced glosses because I just do not reach for them anymore. Um, this was from like their festival collection and I loved these when they first came out. But I just don't think... That I will use any of them. If I was going to use some, it would probably be like the Fairy Tears one. Okay, I think I'm going to actually keep the Fairy Tears and the Angel Tears. Actually, I don't even think you can get them anymore, so should I just get rid of them? I'm just going to get rid of them all actually because you can't even get them anymore, so. I'm going to get rid of all of my Colourpop X My Little Pony ones because once again you can't get these anymore. It would be different if I did my makeup on the daily but I just don't. The only time I really do my makeup is on camera. So I feel like there's no point showing you guys stuff that you can't actually get anymore because I feel like it's, it's not fair. Okay so I've got this more figure loss, I like that. Um, I've got actually a few more more ones. Got a Fenty. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Revolution one because it's just like a glitter, a glittery one which I'm probably not going to use. It's a little bit gimmicky I feel like. Um, I've got these two Shio OXX ones I'm going to get rid of. Um, what else do I have? I think I've got all these Napoleon Curtis ones. 
I'm gonna get rid of straight up I'm gonna get rid of oh, the blue and the two purple shades and then I've got all of these oh god I've got all of these shades left I might hold on to these just until I test out the formula and stuff because if I like the formula I might I've got this lip smacker which is a bit old I'm just going to chuck that um, I've got all my Ari Cosmetics um, Ari Cosmetics lip glazes which I will keep um, what do we have in here I've got some Kylie glosses um, I think I'm going to keep all of them for now I don't know what ones you can still get and which ones you can't so I'll have to like look into that and see what ones you can actually get and what you can't but anyway um, I think that's everything that I will get rid of for lips. I might get rid of this Urban Decay lipstick. It's the Vice Waterproof Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Big Bang. I just won't use it because it's like a metallic shade. So, get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I really want to get rid of right now. Because I like pretty much everything else that I've got in here. Okay. Last but not least, we'll move on to bullet lips. Um, for that, I might just actually move them out so you can see. So in this first little section, I have a black Sephora lipstick, which I might keep. I feel like having a black, a black lipstick is handy. I'm going to get rid of both of these Too Faced ones because they're... Um, more of that festival collection which you can't get anymore so I'll get rid of those um, I've just got this little tart one uh, I should probably just keep that because I'll just use it up I guess I've got two Kylie ones there I've got my Mac ones which I'll keep I'll get rid of this sport scale one because I just don't think I'll reach for it I like that two face one um, I might get rid of that colour. It's not really my kind of thing. This is the Maybelline Colour Sensational in 810. Um, and then what else do I have? I have 725 Maybelline. That's quite pretty. And then I've also got 117, which also is my colour. So I'll get rid of that one and I'll keep the 275. I have this Benefit Double Up Their Real Thing, which I also might just get rid of because I'm never going to use that. It's meant to be like a lip liner and a lipstick in one, but not my thing. Get rid of that. Um, I'll get rid of my e.l.f. lipstick. Just not going to use it. Then I've got this Clinique one, which is really pretty, but I'm just not going to use it. And this Napoleon one which I'm also not going to use. Um, and then I really like this one. This is the Sofex Revolution one, so I'll keep that. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep everything in this one. Why have I got my Kylie one in there? That's not meant to be there. So I've got some Jeffree Star ones. I've got some Ari Cosmetics, Too Faced, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro, and then Exo Beauty. So that is my... Declutter done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if um, you want to see more in the future. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.